This video is brought to you by World Press Photo Award winner Wolfgang Peter Geller and Sunbounce.com. Hallo, ich heiße Tom Fehrmann und äh, bin hier im Augenblick in Kalifornien. Äh, das kam so, dass ich bei der Zeitung Profifoto, einer der letzten verbliebenen Fotozeitungen für wirkliche Professionals, eine äh, Workshop-Ausschreibung äh, gesehen habe. Man konnte zehn Bilder einsenden und konnte einen Workshop bei Greg Gorman gewinnen. Das ist ein hochprofessioneller Workshop. Greg, Gregs Fotos haben mir schon immer sehr, sehr gut gefallen. Ich selber bin Filmkameramann und fotografiere in der Rest der Zeit, in der ich nicht filme. Und ich glaube, Anfang der 80er Jahre habe ich in einer Zeitung einen Bericht über sein Studio gesehen. Und eine der wenigen Male, wo ich so richtig eifersüchtig war auf jemand, der was ganz Tolles sich gebaut hat. Und ähm, als dieser Workshop ausgeschrieben war, ähm, habe ich mir gedacht, warum nicht? Ich probiere das einfach aus, ich schicke da zehn Bilder hin, äh, mehr als schief gehen kann es nicht. War dann aber doch reichlich überrascht, als ich plötzlich ähm, von Profifoto und von der Firma Sunbounce einen Anruf bekam, äh, dass ich derjenige sei, der den Workshop gewonnen hat. So Marsha, come over here. So like if you were shooting Marsha, and let's say there's several ways to utilize these reflectors. You guys should listen up if you haven't used these too much. <clears throat> the main thing is keep your eyes closed. <coughs> it's just like Photoshop. Don't overuse this stuff. So in other words, this is the wrong way to light this, is to come in here and just kill her with it. Just trying to get to see that. That's not how you light. Basically you use these just like a feather, like in Photoshop. So if you wanted to light the dark side of Marsha's face, You basically have to understand light a little bit like we talked about in the studio. We want to just feather that light in. So if we want to just open that up gently, we just slowly come up. You see that glow on her face? On the shadow side? And a lot of times what I'll do for, the, for a little bit of light in the eyes, I'll come up high and just very gently. See how that, it's very subtle. But the light is there.
more. Look at that. Oh, nice. So, and, and you know, frame up a nice graphic. Okay. And then you can shoot a little bit here. And if you want to bring him back in and take him out can, to the can beach, I you can. on this side? Because yeah, just tell him. You just direct light. him. Tell him what you want. Alles, was ich mir so gedacht hatte über die Arbeit mit äh, Greg, äh, ist bei Weitem übertroffen worden. Also hier wird hart gearbeitet, es gibt jede Menge Informationen, es gibt keine Geheimnisse und wir sind jeden Tag an unglaublich schönen äh, Locations und können mit sehr guten Models tolle Fotos machen. If you really need to pick their chins up to get rid of these bags, and you brought her chin up just a little bit, that'd be completely filled in, that cavity be. And that's what, with girls, is really kind of important. It depends on the lighting, obviously, and the situation. But in a situation like this, if her chin came up a little bit, this, this cavity would be filled in and she'd look mm -hmm. great. Jordan's great for Marsha. The stuff that I see for Jordan is the more sculptural stuff, which would be like on top, standing on top of these uh, first growth redwood stumps. The bark that you saw, that big tree up there at the top. Maybe something quirky in that little bamboo forest. The door is really a shocking portrait of Jordan. I will definitely demo that late in the day, with whichever group I'm at. If we're with Jordan up by that, that bronze door around 536, it'd be amazing. This has been an amazing week here in Mendocino, California. Being able to work with such talents as two directors of photography and a film director, not to mention a second returnee from Moscow, has presented an amazingly exciting week. The picture quality this week has been above and beyond anything I've seen before in over 25 workshops up here in Northern California. It's brought the, everything basically to a new level and made everyone strive to make much, much better pictures, including myself as an instructor. For me to be able to reach out to people whose work I respect outside of the work that I'm doing is a lot and it made me, I think, become a better teacher this week and work much harder. Yeah, it was funny that one of the, uh, the guys of the workshop were uh, saying us that we are always uh, use these horizontal uh, images and they try to teach us uh, how to shoot vertical, what we're never doing in cinema. Yeah, yeah, they give my, my buddy Anton, he's always like, turn the camera this way, get a vertical. But we're, not, we don't, we're not used to it. And then also reframing, changing the aspect, making it wide, make it square, all those cropping things later on. 
you know, we don't get that opportunity anymore. That was for me one of the most uh, thrilling things, seeing Greg uh, reframing our shots, um, doesn't care of aspect ratio and everything, just that it comes out to a, a proper image and it was great to see that. And, uh, I have to say uh, Greg is a fantastic teacher, I haven't uh, seen somebody uh, who would do it that perfect like uh, he's doing it. Ja, hier hinter mir ist der Pazifik mit unglaublich schönen Locations. Felsen ragen aus dem Wasser, unendliche Wassermassen krachen dagegen. Die Sonne scheint perfekt und äh, wir dürfen hier fotografieren. Ähm, ich muss mich mehrfach am Tag selbst kneifen, ähm, damit ich glauben kann, dass das, äh, was wir hier tun, wahr ist und nicht nur ein Traum ist. Es ist eine wunderbare Erfahrung. cinema if we do something we need a hundred people to do it yeah we need generators with lights we need hour to prepare a shot and here you just have your camera and you have a buddy standing around with a reflector rig up a shot and do it yeah so this freedom this the, you, you have the choice to go everywhere no no one in the back from production say hurry up hurry up so that was a great a, a great difference. I think. That was great. Yeah, that was really good. Thomas, first off, I must tell you that I am so impressed with uh, Tom Fairman for his work in my class. He's actually led the class in terms of the quality of his imagery, his unique ability to capture both models, capture their personality and capture their spirit, as well as very graphic images. I'm so pleased that he was part of our workshop. So viele tolle Fotos am Stück hintereinander habe ich, glaube ich, in meinem Leben noch nicht gemacht. Und äh, ich freue mich sehr, ähm, dass äh, Peter Geller mit Sunbounce und äh, Profifoto und natürlich Greg äh, mir diese Möglichkeiten äh, eingeräumt haben. This video is brought to you by World Press Photo Award winner Wolfgang Peter Geller and Sunbounce.com. <laughs>